Good morning. Just um, been watching Madam Sin's wonderful 45 collections again. I noticed he had a few Fontanas uh, going in one of them. I only have a, a handful of um, UK Fontanas. Uh, in Australia, Fontana would have come out probably on Polydor International or whatever. But I, I, the, these I picked up quite a long time ago, but they're all in unbelievable condition and I got them for virtually nothing. So we'll start with the wonderful wild thing and the even better B-side from home. Now the Trogs, out of all those bands, the Who had shit B-sides, almost always had a shit, lousy throwaway B-side. The Trogs didn't do that. They actually had equal B-sides or even better than A-side B-sides. God bless the Trogs, mate. God bless them. Yeah, so that's uh, their first big uh, one that everyone knows. Oh, I got all, I got them all, but on Aussie, all the rest are on Aussie label. Parlophone, you know, Night of the Long Grass, the whole lot, you know, all of it. Even their version of um, Evil Woman, you know, the one that Black Sabbath had, um, or something like, I don't know, something like that. Okay. Now, sadly um, departed recently the wonderful Spencer Davis and the wonderful Spencer Davis group. These are my Fontana copies. I can't remember what their first hit was. That's terrible, isn't it? Keep on running. So we have that. Um, <clears throat> then there was a follow-up. Oh, yeah. The guitar on this. Oh, this, oh, this is even... Keep on running is, oh, look. It's, it's unbelievable. What a great single. Fresh as a daisy. Still the bass on it. Muff Winwood on bass, Steve Winwood on guitar, lead guitar on that on this one. Somebody help me. Yeah, somebody help me. What a great follow up. Oh man. I mean I've got all these on the Aussie labels as well. It's just nice to have a an original Fontana. Um, and then after Steve Winwood left, um, they, they did struggle, but they did come up with one absolutely unbelievably fantastic single, Time Seller. Um, yeah, really, really great single. You know, it's sort of um, moving into that uh, psychic, psychedelic sort of phase, um, uh, sort of a bit proggy even. It's, it's a great single. Time seller, really, really good. I mean, it's in a similar vein to what, I, what this next one, it's in a similar vein to, say, From the Underworld by The Herd. Um, you know, I mean, completely different groups, but they're both moving into that sort of proggy psych sound, you know, not, not the silly um, green tambourine, you know, bubblegum type like pop but this is adult what I would consider mature for the more mature audience from the underworld the herd um, Peter Frampton's in that band I do believe what a great single holy crap and so is Time Seller it was a minor hit in Australia it did, it did break into the charts I actually bought it at the time I have an original Aussie here and to finish up today um, you may laugh you may chortle you're free, free to troll my channel, comments, call me a faggot, call me a, a sad sack, call me a fucking uh, uh, whatever you want. I don't have a, uh, a flying. Because I love Winchester Cathedral, the new vaudeville band. Hey, come on, man. I love this. Uh, when I went to, when I was in Britain in 78, 1978, we actually went to, um, we're touring the southwest mainly, and uh, 
we ended up in Winchester somehow. And I don't know if this is my memory's completely shot or not, but I think we went to a Woolworths to get some nappies for the for the two year old. And um and I said, Hey, what's that big building? And and it was Winchester Cathedral. I don't know, it's probably my crazy imagination, but I swear there was a Woolworths right next to it or something. Uh, it can't be right, but but there was a. It was definitely in that in that town. It was in Winchester when I went to Winchester Cathedral. But I actually remember the Woolworths more than I remember the cathedral. How weird, eh? Um, and yeah, the other day I showed the follow up Finchley Central. Um, to us Aussies, we we're like the Yanks in a way that we love that pommy stuff, you know, like that cornball. Winchester Cathedral, we love that shit, you know, you, you people in the UK probably look down on it, but we don't, we love it, so that's it for today, yes, um, anyway, take care all.